The Empty Atom If you remember high school science, you probably saw the atom drawn like a solar system, with electrons orbiting a nucleus like planets around the Sun. That picture is wrong in almost every way. Electrons do not orbit like planets, they live in fuzzy clouds of probability where the position and momentum can't be both nailed down. Electrons are more like a smeared on cloud or asteroid belt around the Sun-like nucleus than an individual dot at a single point. But the old picture gets two things very right, the sheer emptiness of an atom and how almost all the mass is in the middle. In most atoms, the nucleus outweighs the electrons around it by several thousand times. As for emptiness, imagine the nucleus blew up the size of a grape or a piece of candy. The nearest electron wouldn't be an inch away or a foot away, it would be a football field away, and everything in between is vacuum. That's why, even though matter feels solid, what you're really touching is mostly nothing, held together by invisible quantum forces, you, me, this desk, and the entire Earth, all of it is built from tiny solar systems that are almost entirely empty space. That's also why in neutron stars, where those atomic forces get overridden, you can squeeze a couple billion tons, an entire large mountain, into something the size of a piece of candy. 